like to invite you uh, if you have uh, your first question and comments. So, uh, just to give uh, a little time to set uh, the new computer. So, please, the floor is yours. Yes, please. Hello. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Good morning, sir. Uh, my name is Hilman, and I'm from Indonesia. And if we're talking about uh, attracting tourists to come to your country, one of the requirements, I believe, it has to be accessible. And for us, the Southeast Asian citizen, in order to come to your country, we need a, re uh, we require, it, we need a visa. And the closest embassy in Southeast Asia is in Thailand, which is uh, 200 euros away from our home. So I would like to know about your professional's opinion, why you don't have embassy in Indonesia. And uh, one more thing, I also would like to know if you agree or not if the country is borderless in order to attract a lot of people to come from one point to another point. Thank you. Very good question and let me be very blunt and to the point. One, uh, we're in the process of opening new embassies. Right now, we only have 33 in the world. <clears throat> we are trying to focus on the areas where we don't have so that we can open more. Right now, we're about to open one in India. It's even further, true. But the point is, we're opening more. And uh, we're looking forward to opening more in East Asia. And uh, we already have one, um, uh, an embassy in Taiwan. We have an embassy in Japan. We have another embassy in, in the other country you mentioned. And uh, so we're looking forward to opening uh, more embassies. The only thing is that we cannot do it from one day to another because we're a country on the road to development and we don't have as much resources as your country does. Okay. Unfortunately, but we're trying to reallocate those resources so that we can best uh, use them in order to open those embassies that we need. As for the visas, um, visa problems are very easily resolved. Uh, we don't uh, pose any any obstacles in order to, uh, if you want to come to Honduras, we make it easy for you to come to Honduras. And another thing, you said borders. Is it borders? Okay. With regards to borders, you know that we don't have any borders between Guatemala and Honduras, El Salvador and Honduras, nor Nicaragua and Honduras. You can access four countries with one visa. So basically, um, you, you're getting your money's worth. And uh, right now, we, as you have the European Union, and you have 27, 28 member states, and they have the Schengen states, and I hope that the Schengen stays, because otherwise a lot of us that don't have a, a European passport are gonna have a lot of problems in order to travel within Europe. You don't have that problem in Central America anymore. We have the Central American system for oh! integration. <laughs> it works, it works. <laughs> but anyways, we have the Central American uh, integration system right now, and Honduras has the presidency, and as in Europe, the presidency is only for six months, and then it, it goes to the following country. The next country is uh, Nicaragua. But anyways, the point is, we are working on the border situation in Central America, and I can already tell you, between my country and Guatemala, there's no border. Between my country and El Salvador, there's no border, and the same, and likewise with Nicaragua. I can't say the same for East Asia, unfortunately, because the borders are very well put in East Asia, but our borders are no longer there. So, like I said, Honduras is in the middle of the Americas. Just imagine the heart that you have. Honduras is the heart of the Americas. Without Honduras, there, won't, there wouldn't be an American continent. <laughs> Thank you. Um, 
Thank you, Ambassador. I'm going to show you now the first video. It's the one that we used to promote the contest for the image of the brand. There's a place in the world with beaches that light up. <laughs> There's a place in the world with beaches that light up with color and joy. Oh, no. <laughs> well, let me invite you to continue with the question. As to oh, ask you oh, 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 with the computer. Okay. No. Video. <laughs> no video. Sorry. Yes? Okay. Yo soy de Honduras. Donde cada. Please, I would like to invite you for questions. <laughs> Somebody was asking, yeah. Yes. Okay. Hi, uh, my name is Joshua Rodriguez. I'm from the U.S., but my family is from the uh, Dominican Republic. And um, this is something that I've actually been wondering for the past couple of months. Now that Cuba is opening up for uh, tourism, I know it's a big deal in the Dominican Republic because now we're actually uh, remodeling our whole uh, colonial zone. So how do you guys see Cuba entering the tourist industry in the Caribbean and with... Uh, you know, Honduras is kind of uh, coming up and also the tourist industry. Well, for, uh, for us, one of our main market is uh, U.S. And now U.S. is b booking all through 2016 and 2017 uh, to Cuba. So in... Uh, Beaches and the part of uh, all-inclusive and that segment of beaches, I think, is mostly a competitor for Dominican Republic, but also for Honduras. There's a difference between because what we sell is not just uh, sun and, and beach, but we our main product is diving. And diving in Baradero is not as good as sunbathing. <laughs> so for us, I think they will get a, a, a big share of the uh, market, from, especially from the US, since Europe is already visiting from for years uh, Cuba already. But uh, I think we, the segment of, of diving, we are going to be keeping it and, and not losing so much terrain in, for that matter. Can I ask you, what is the price, for example, for a uh, one week course of uh, scuba diving, uh, you mean? Okay. Yes. <laughs> what is the price? <laughs> The first level can go from $220, uh, 250 until 300 It depends of if you want also uh, all your meals and lodging or just the course, and if you have your own equipment or you have to rent it. Uh, so it goes from uh, $220, $50 until 300 for the first course that it is the, the longest of. Uh, Four or five days. Then, yes. Thank you very much. Okay. More questions, please? Uh, yeah. or, uh, yes, we are ready now. Uh, yes. Okay, we'll, okay, after that, we'll continue with the questions. Thank you. There's a place in the world with beaches that light up with color and joy. There's a place in the world, the realm of ancient civilizations. There's a place in the world where beauty extends from the highest heights to the deep blue sea. There's a place in the world proud. <laughs> There's a place in the world with beaches that light up with color and joy. There's a place in the world, the realm of ancient civilizations. There's a place in the world where beauty extends from the highest heights to the deep blue sea. There's a place in the world proud of the fruits of its fields. There's a place in the world where euphoria finds a voice in 10,000 beating hearts united for the same goal. There's a place in the world moving forward 
with the hope and the dreams of its people. In the heart of Central America, there's a place called Honduras, undiscovered and ready for the world. Okay, so this one was the one we used uh, for the contest, and this is why we're proud of being Honduran. Oh! Tejiendo sueños Donde el viento huele a caña y café Las frutas frescas, sus montañas El encanto de sus playas Veo mi gente crecer Aquí Somos para ti Thank you very much, too. So, yes, we have more questions, and I am coming. Uh, thank you very much for your presentation. I was very interested with the idea of the Central American integration system. Is there any, are there any examples of collaboration in nation branding or in the promotion of tourism, or is it all competition between the countries? Well, let me put it to you this way. It has taken a long time in order to have an integration system in Central America. And furthermore, I am proud to say that as a Honduran that I am, and as the Europeans say that they are very proud to be European, I'm very proud to be a Central American. And uh, you're with regards to the Central American integration system, we are the only region in the world on this planet Earth that has a full-time association agreement with Europe. I was lucky enough to be one of the ambassadors in Brussels that negotiated through the six-year period that I was there from beginning to end. And uh, I, you know, the integration system is not going to be uh, the European system, but rather we have an integration system that has eventually will have no borders. And as you can cross from, uh, let's say, Spain or Greece all the way up to Poland or Germany, we're going to have the same thing. But there's no other region on this planet Earth that has an association agreement with Europe as we have it today. You might have an association agreement with Mexico, Chile, um, a strategic agreement with Brazil, but you don't have an association agreement. So basically, bottom line, we are creating opportunities, economic opportunities, cultural opportunities, um, political dialogue, cooperation with the Europeans. That is something that people are beginning to see. Last week, no, not last week, the week before, two weeks ago, the SICA countries went to Poland. We had an economic forum with the Chamber of Commerce, 
And guess what? Lo and behold, I never expected something like this would happen. 230 CEOs from the most important companies in Poland were there. One Polish company, by the way, is doing the 20 Lempida bill. And like we have advanced relationships with countries such as Poland, Germany, Italy, and all the European countries, what we're trying to do is expand our economic opportunities so that we can offer more opportunities in different sectors and areas. I don't know if that answers your question. Um, it, no, I think it answers it in a different way, but I was thinking in terms of um, the promotion of tourism. Are you promoting, I, I mean, I understand you're promoting one country. Are there any examples of collaboration between countries when you're promoting tourism? As a matter of fact, yes, and I'm thinking I'll invite answer. you because uh, it, within the Central American system, we have all the tourism ministers uh, and all the ministers of tourism uh, have a same policy, but please. Thank you. Um, actually, even though we are competitors, for instance, with Guatemala when it comes to the Mayan world or with Costa Rica when it comes to nature, in uh, tourism proportion, we are like best friends with Central America. We have a Central America Tourism Council that, and uh, we gather um, every three months to discuss our promotion. Uh, with the, uh, We have an agency that works with us uh, with the promotion here in, in Europe. It's called the Tourism Promotion Agency and they coordinate with us, each country uh, takes a little bit of their uh, national budget and place it into this agency so we can do um, joint events of promotions, for instance, road shows or our participation uh, here, for instance, in ITB. Cata, uh, our agency, is the one that coordinates all these promotional activities. And by the way, an announcement, I invite you on Saturday and Sunday to visit our stand. It's in Hall 3A. Uh, uh, so if you have time on the weekend, I hope you can go and visit us. Well, <laughs> returning to your question. Uh, we have these, um, these efforts in marketing. Uh, and we also have a brand that is called Central America and that it represents all the countries from Belize to, to Panama. And we also work together uh, in uh, special training programs of uh, tourism service. And also uh, we have a quality seal that we have just recently launched. Tourism has the, uh, the first, uh, Honduras tourism has the first uh, 50 um, tourism businesses to be certified this year is called um, the certification of the system of integrated sustainability and quality for tourism. Uh, it goes like that. It's called SIX. And uh, I hope this seal will, uh, all the countries will adopt this seal. All, uh, so. The tourism business, uh, such as hotels and restaurants, can be recognized for their quality and sustainability uh, efforts in all the regions from Belize to, to Panama. So that's another joint effort that we are working on. Um, I would like to add something to your question. Um, there is something that it's called the Alliance for Prosperity. It's Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras. And uh, between uh, one of the topics of the main topics is investment. Investment is one of the um, things behind the brand, and they're working together in investment. So we, we are a team for, for a lot of the, of the topics of the brand. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm just gonna take a moment. My name is Eduardo Cano from the Embassy uh, of Honduras here in Germany. I've got a lot of questions regarding uh, the issue of visas to go to Honduras. Okay, if it's true that we don't have uh, an, embassy, an embassy in every single country, for example, in Southeast Asia, but you can contact your closest embassy, for example, in Taipei, in Tokyo, and you don't really have to go to the embassy to get the visa. You will have to contact them, they will have to tell you what process you have to go through you will have to send the documents, for example. Uh, you will go through a process of verification of your documents, and then they can issue the visa. 
Okay, obviously it, it's, uh, it depends on the process and on the verification of your documents. Uh, but it's, I mean, since Honduras is open to the world, we want people to, to go to paradise, which is Honduras. Um, yeah, and we are, we are, you know, making it easy for you to go to, your, to our country as well. So it shouldn't be a problem and it doesn't have to stop you <coughs> from trying to go to our country because seriously, we are, the, we are the heart of the American continent and we are not only beautiful beaches, uh, nice products, but I think the most beautiful thing about Honduras is its people. So go. when you go to our country, you will feel like home because we are very welcoming people and we like to, you know, to, to, to be open to every single culture. So don't, uh, don't panic. Uh, you can contact your closest embassy if your country needs a visa, <laughs> and then we can help you out with that. It shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Thank you very much. This was really very important clarification, and uh, I'd like to invite you for more questions and comments from your side. Okay. Okay, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I ask you for a final question, please? <laughs> thank you. Hello, my name is Samuel. I just have a really short question. Um, I, I don't, I've never been to Central America. I like traveling. I guess everyone here likes traveling and has been around the globe. Um, but why should I go to Honduras and why should I not go to the Philippines? Why should I not go to Cuba? Why, why should I go to Honduras? The same question, uh, Mr. Taleb Rifai. I'm, let me just elaborate, like, um, if I like diving, I think I would go to Thailand first. I don't know why, but that's the first thing. Why okay. should I go for, to Honduras? Okay, the fir that same question was made by Mr. Taleb Rifai, if you know who he is. He's, he works in the UN uh, with uh, Ban Ki-moon. And, uh, and he told me, and he told us the same question as you did. And he just answered, it's the people. Once you come to Honduras and experience our treat to you, you will come back and come back and come back and come up. We're, we're addictive. <laughs> we're addictive. Once you, go, once you go once, okay, you start going again because the, the treat you're going to receive, they're going to make you so welcome at home, you will want to come back. Yes. And the best uh, preserved in the Mesoamerican area, in the there Caribbean. So uh, there you go. I mean, after Australia, they have the largest, we have the second largest coral reef in the world and the best, uh, the best preserved in the Caribbean area. So it's an experience. Is, it's, it's an experience. It's unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> We are happy people as well. We are happy people. We have sun, we have good weather, we like to dance, we like to party as well. I know we're young and you like to party. If you go to a country and, and getting to know the, the, the way of living of the people is part of the cultural exchange. Honduras is unique in this, uh, in this part, so I think you'll fall in love, definitely. Thank you very much. So, Mark, would you like to? Okay. Of course, yeah, of course. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, dear ladies, thank you very much also. Uh, thank you very much to okay. you too. Please join me to express our sincere gratitude to the delegation from Honduras. Thank you.